Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Lin Yuxiu and I'm from Group 5. My group members are Song Renzhuo, Lian Zhenyao, Zhang Yuxing, Chen Yimei. And our group topic is Chinese economic analysis. Okay, let's start it. China, located in East Asia, is the world's most populous country with over 1.4 billion people. It spans diverse landscapes, from plateaus to coastal plains, governed as the People's Republic of China. It has a socialist system led by the Chinese Communist Party. Boasting a rich history, China has become the world's second largest economy, driven by robust manufacturing, technological advancements, and the growing services sector. Its economic reforms since the late 20th century have propelled it to a central role in global trade and geopolitics. Politic background. China has a long way to go on the road with development. And China is searching for the right mode of development in the process of moving forward again and again. 1956 to 1978, the period exploring on the road of a socialist construction suited to own characteristics. The Great Leap Forward in May 1958, the second session of the 8th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, formally adopted to the general line of drumming up vigor, striving for excellence and constructing socialism with more speed and better economic, and all this are ended in failure. 1978 to 1992, the period of creating a new situation on the road of socialism with Chinese characteristics. 1992 to 2003, the period of creating a new situation on the road of socialism with Chinese characteristics in 2003 to present the uh, construction of socialism with Chinese characteristics enters into a new stage of development. Hello everyone, I'm Song Zhuo with Michigan number A17604. Let's continue with the part two, currency statues. Let's start from the first, first part annual trends from 2019 to 2024. And we can see during the 2019 to 2021, Due to the impact of the COVID-19, the currency fluctuation between China and Malaysia is large from 2021 to early 2022. Due to the adjustment of the policies of the two countries and the slowdown of the COVID-19, the currency uh, fluctuation of the two countries will be flat. Okay, let's move to section two, the impact of COVID-19 on currency stability. One, trade and economic growth. China's economy slowed down due to COVID-19, as Malaysia's largest, largest trade partner has impacted Malaysian growth. Two, terrorism. terrorism. The decrease in China terrorists has significant to reduce Malaysia's terrorism revenue, affects the Malaysian's drinking value. Three, financial market and investment flows. Volatility and uh, concern over China economy directly affect Malaysia, so China's investment in Malaysia re remains robust. Four, currency value flu fluctuation. The pandemic has caused short-term volatility and uh, long-term challenges for both countries' cur currencies, influenced by trade disruptions and uh, changing investor confidence. Section three, current political impact. Malaysia's political changes and uh, China's inter internal stability are crucial for economic partnerships. Due to the various economic factors, China and uh, Malaysia have held have held several meetings between, between state officials, which is conductive to the political and uh, diplomatic stability between China and Malaysia. Let's move to the section four, the impact of the government policy. For China policies, the People Bank of China's measure and uh, fiscal and fiscal policies has been pivotal in st stabilizing the RMB, influencing investment floor and uh, Malaysia's ringgits. For the Malaysia's policy, bank, bank negative Malaysia's policy, including interest rates adjustment, adjustment and the stimulus packet, are key to maintaining the ringgit stability. In addition, trade policy, political and diplomatic relations, global economic policy are also indirectly influenced currency stabilities. 
challenges to investment recommendations. The first one, China's economic and financial market are affected by a variety of factors, including political factors, international trade relations, and domestic economic policies. China's regulatory and environment may Third, the information discover of some Chinese companies may not be substantially transparent. The fourth, there may be differences in accounting and outfit standards in China and internationally, which may make it different for investor, investors to effectively compare companies. Recommendment result. Understand the characteristic and the potential opportunities of the Chinese market is in order to in order to make more informed investment decision. The second, diversification is an effective effective street to reduce risk. Instead of concentrating all your money in one sector or sector, sir, China's economy is growing and some emerging industries may have greater growth potential, such as artificial intelligence, new energy, and e-commerce pay close attention to investment opportunities in these areas. OK, I will start the fifth part conclusion. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, the United States has become the most thoroughly affected country in the world. As of July 20, 2020, there were 3.4 million confirmed cases and 138,000 diseases in the United States, according to the IMF forecast in July. The U.S. economy will shrink by 8.0% in 2020 and slipped into a deep recession in response to the economic downturn and market turmoil and the COVID pandemic. The U.S. government has implemented unprecedented country cycle uh, monetary policy. In terms of fiscal policy, the Federal Reserve lowers the federal funds rate by 150 basis points to zero. Implemented and unlimited policy is an easy policy. policy and introduced a number of innovation liquid supply measures to the basis of liquid crisis in the financial markets. Okay, that, that's all. Thanks for listening.